Hey up everybody, welcome to another Luthier's Lair and uh, today I'm going to be setting up one of my older P bases that I made, this one I made quite a while ago, uh, not selling this one, this is mine, um, and once we get it all set up and done, I'm going to do a Stanley Clark medley, I think, it will be the tracks I want to play are uh, uh, Lopsy Lou, School Days, The Dancer, and Time Exposure. They'll be the four, and I'm just laying down drum tracks to it, and I'll just play the bass over it. Maybe in The Dancer I'll play some instrumentation through uh, my synth and cakewalk. Uh, just because it's nice. I like that tune. So, let's get to it. Let's set this bugger up, shall we? Okay. Okay, first thing, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, I check the straightness in the neck, it, it appears to be pretty straight. Um, so that's out of the way. The next thing is, at the first fret, the string re relief off the first fret should be about 20,000, so I have a, a 20,000 feeler gauge here, and oh my god. Whoa. Did I put a new nut in this and not file it down? I may have done. See, I was never going to sell this base just for me. And oh my god, there's there's almost 40,000 there. It should be 20,000. So, off of the strings. It needs new strings anyway. And actually, no, I'm going to keep those strings on and loosen them. Really loosen them up. And then file this, file this down. As you can see, what I'm doing is just loosening the strings and putting them to the side there. Uh, this one needs a little more because it's got to go over the string tree. We call it a retainer. There you go. Now you have full access to the the nut, and you can file away to your heart's content. So I'm going to go and do that. Okay, get this down to twenty thousand. Alright, it's all filed down and I've got my 20,000 shim there and I can just hear it buzzing against the strings which is, means that the nut is perfectly filed can't believe I didn't file that nut Duh! <laughs> Next thing I'm going to check the neck relief anyway, it looks really straight but keep here, keep here on there at the first fret, okay? No. <laughs> Pick the guitar up. We hold down the 17th fret and we get a 12,000 feeler gauge. 12,000. At the 7th fret, I should have a 12,000 clearance. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, yes. Touch another end there. And then the next next straight as hell. That's good. I like that. String height type at the seventeenth fret. I uh, should be five sixty fourths of an inch. Oh, this is high. Yike. Is that eight? Oh man, I'm near the deck as well and uh, this bass might need an neck shim. Uh, the A string's fine, but it's all really near the deck. I might have to take the neck off and put a little shim in this mofo. Mofo! <laughs> so I'm put shim at the back of the neck there. I've uh, engineered walnut veneer shim. That will change the neck angle very slightly, very slightly, and sort of raise it up slightly as well. I can do that, and uh, then I'll check the string height again, okay? Awesome. Okay, uh, what I do usually <coughs> when I'm taking the neck off a bolt on neck uh, guitar is I put, I don't take the strings off entirely, I put a uh, nice piece of elastic there, rubber band, something like that. 
hold the, the strings are very slack, the strings in place, then, then I don't need to restring it and stuff like that. You can take the neck off pretty easily doing that. Oh my god, he's using a drill. Yes, I am using a drill. This is a nicely fitting neck. Just a little bit more on this. Oh, you can see that? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I should be able to do that. Yeah, by hand. That's slack, that's slack. That's not too slack. So, a little bit. A little bit there. And it should come out. There we go. See? I can do this. Oh wow, somebody's had a go at this. Oh yeah, I remember this. I thought I can't sell this because it's all fucked up. So I'll just make it for myself. That explains a lot. Yeah. Anyway, alright, so I'm gonna get myself a piece of walnut veneer. I actually might put a, might put a whole shim in that, I don't know. You know what, I'm going to do a whole shim, whole walnut shim in there, very thin, should raise it up nice, we'll go from there, okay? Awesome. Okay, engineered walnut shim, it's going to go in here, now, I'm going to do this, put that in there, really good fitting neck, I wonder how I managed that. Holy crap, holy. Scritty Paletti. Okay. okay. Press down on there. Alright. that back in place. Put that down here. A little trick. Okay. Let's roll these in a bit. You can see all this, can't you? See, guess what it is yet? Uh, maybe you can't see it like that. But I'm going to have to roll these in a little bit. Going, it is going into the location holes pretty easily. So then it goes again and in you go, you big Jesse. Make sure the torque control on the drill is okay. I'm going to strip the screws. back in place. Now bring it here. Ah ha 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 ha. Now well, that didn't work too well. Wait a minute. Just tighten this up a little bit. Gotta be putting new strings on it anyway. I just want to tighten this up so they're gonna take the but I made this too slack when I take the rubber band off strings won't fall off. There you go. Beautiful. Not really. Sounds good. Oh, that's real spike. 
keep winding. I need new strings on it anyway. Alright, quickly check the uh, nut. Perfect. Now I'm going to look at the string relief I've got in it. Now it should be much lower. So it is indeed, in fact, it's bang on. Oh! Who would have thunk it? The A string needs right risen up a little bit, so the D, the G is in a beautiful place, and the E is from 564. And I still have some adjustment there, that's awesome. I'm happy with that one. Okay, the A needs to be, needs to rise up a little bit. I mean, that one turn there, and one turn there. Bit there. And we're good there. A little higher. And here. This is fun. So ah, relaxing. Yeah. The D definitely needs to come up a little bit. So I've got much more play now. Just by putting that little engineered piece of shim in there. Walnut shim, very hard wood. And I've got about 564 there, almost. I know it's going to be that, and that, and then go down to the G, and it's a little low, so it's going to be like that. film at the same time without holding anything. Whoops. So what I'm doing is I'm going up and down the fretboard. It's good. No buzz. You can do it like that as well. So bad. Yep, that is a broken drill and a set up guitar. <laughs> Just joking. That's my silly fault for leaving my tools lying around upright. Anyway, now what I've got to do is check the intonation. And uh, let's go do that now. Okay, intonation time. It's all in tune, okay? So now what I'm going to do, these are crap all the strings, and I don't think I'll be needing to set them up again. Intonation, of course, is open, and at 12th fret should be an exactly an octave higher. And the harmonic should be too. Okay? So I'm going to switch on my tuner here, just to get it, I mean, I'm pitch perfect, but I'm not that great, you know. That's a bang on E, and that's a bang on E there too. Mm. A, and A at the 12th fret. I think I've got the intonation bang on on this. I didn't need to set it, I don't think. That's a good D. Slightly sharp. What does that mean? Strings too short. Okay. So, what we do, we do the screwdriver here, and we're going to lengthen the string. Why do you lengthen the string? You push the saddle forward a little bit. 
that's what you do. Oh yes, you do that. That's what you do. Okay, so check I've got D there. Now it's slightly sharp on that, so I'll back off. Okay. And I went a bit too far, so let's come back a little bit. Flat. There you go. Bang on. Plug G there. And slightly sharp again, so I push this in. Push this screw in to draw the saddle back to get some length on the string so it works and we can tune that properly again there we go bang on okay so got a good P bass set up now Awesome, and it only took about half an hour, and that's including making the shem and putting the shem in. So I've got great string action, everything the neck is straight, intonation's perfect. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the height of the pickups. I'm not using that screwdriver because it's crap. Now, how do we do that? Okay, height of the pickups should be like an eighth of an inch from the string at the 17th so if you're going to do like 15 17th fret there I've got to get my handy dandy little ruler I'll be right back all right eighth of an inch my inches which is what 864 isn't it of course it is. 8 8 is 64. So I'm going to hold that down at the 17th. I'm going to go in there and I am seeing an eighth of an inch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a bit low on the bridge side. So let's bring up the bridge side a little bit by slackening these screws off. Shall we? Mmm, lovely. Okay, that looks good. Just a little bit down there, up here. There we yeah, that's looking good. Yep, yeah. and we're good. Okay, so here it is. My Ibanez IBZ 10B 10 watt bench amp. Sounds like P bass, eh? Eh, eh, eh. screwing it around actually.
Yeah, it sounds good. So, stay tuned, and coming up next, after a restring of this bugger, will be a Stanley Clark Men Melody? Medley. Medals. Gold medals. Ha ha ha. Okay? And I hope I didn't get pulled down for that. But anyway, you know, whatever. Right? See you soon. Bye.
Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's great fun. You know what? Setting up a bass guitar on a Saturday morning, early, before dawn, before the sun goes up, or before the earth rotates until the sun appears above the horizon, to be more accurate, is great fun. And then to go and, you know, put some music together and play it and uh, have a lot of fun. It's awesome. It's very refreshing uh, to the daily grind that happens during the week. Japanese saw. Uh, anyway, so hope you enjoyed that. Next time I'll be doing something else, okay? So hope you're all safe. Hope you're having a good time. Be careful about this uh, going mass exodus shit right now. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, maybe it is, you know, a lot of people hurting right now. Maybe it's not because a lot of people might get hurt. Whoa, what a conundrum, eh? But never mind. Hope you're all okay. I really do. And keep watching. See you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.